This is an elderly male patient with multiple pathologies. The first finding is that of nodular cirrhosis. This is a common finding in patients with chronic liver disease and can be associated with a range of etiologies. In this case, the cause was non-alcoholic cirrhotic liver disease. The portal vein shows anti-grade flow which is seen in red color. There is also evidence of mild splenomegaly with mild dilatation of the port of the splenic vein. The presence of flow towards the liver or anti-grade flow is a sign of good prognosis despite the multiple pathologies. There is also evidence of a recurrence of carcinoma bladder. This patient has a history of bladder cancer and may require further investigation and treatment. In addition, there is also an evidence of prostatomegaly. Here we can see the liver which is fibrotic and it shows micronodules literally floating in ascitic fluid. The portal, portal vein is dilated at more than 13 millimeters, but it shows anti-grade flow or flow towards the liver which rules out the possibility of uh, portal vein hypertension. It must be noted that mild nodular cirrhosis can progress to severe liver disease or complications such as liver malignancy also. The spectral Doppler waveform of the portal vein also shows normal anti-grade flow with, with phasicity during respiration. This is another silver lining in an otherwise bleak prognosis. Management of the cirrhosis includes medication to improve liver function and dietary changes. Note the presence of both prostatomegaly and a small bladder mass in the posterior wall which suggests possible recurrence of bladder carcinoma. The bladder mass is isoechoic and poorly vascular on color doppler. A subcostal view of the heart shows normal cardiac function despite all these multiple pathologies.